Let's grab our green loop band. That's your green loop band in the Uniquely Fit Kit. Bringing it above our elbows, all the way above the elbows. Taking the forearms onto the foam roller, palms facing in towards one another. Knees hip distance apart or wider if you'd like, sitting back into a child's pose. The forehead will hit the band. I want you to inhale, pushing the forehead into the band. Exhale, sitting back heavy on the heels. Inhale, pushing the forehead into the band, activating the front neck muscles that are weak. Exhale, inner thighs pull you back. Inhale, forehead pushes into the band as the pelvis grounds down to the floor. Exhale, inner thighs pull you deeper into your child's pose. Breathing laterally, two, three, four. Pull the abs in, lift up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee, and exhale the air out. Two, three, four. Inhale, push the forehead into the band. And exhale, pelvis pulls back to the heels. Let's rise up. We're going to take that band now down to our wrists, palms still facing in, twisting on the diagonal for a child's pose that's twisted to the right. As you sit back, I want you to push down into the, um, the wrist into the roller and pull out into uh, to that band to engage the abductors of your arms, your triceps, and your posterior delts. Since you've twisted to your right, your left butt cheek needs to sit even heavier on the heels to stretch the lower QL, low back area. Inhale, pelvis pulls down, two, three, four. Exhale, inner thighs pull back, two, three, four. Inhale, the arms push down and pull out. Exhale, lower pelvic floor muscles, the muscles that stop your stream of pee, lift in and up, and that's internal. And one more. Inhale, two. Three, four, brace the abs, exhale, two, three, four, coming up to sit, taking that twist to the other side, going to the left now, sitting the right butt cheek heavy on the heels, pushing down and out into the arms, inhale, breathing laterally, two, three, four, exhale, brace the abs, Valgamera. So actively pulling the belly in and tugging up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee to contract your transverse abdominis, the deepest layer of the core, which initiates and helps with all movement. So really try and pull the pelvis down to the floor and push down and out into those arms. Soften your facial muscles, your chest muscles and shoulder muscles. Engage your lower abdominals. One more breath here. Inhale, two, three, four. Sit heavy. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale up, grabbing your purple loop band, setting this green band to the side. Bring your purple loop band around your outer thighs. Once it's around the outer thighs, we'll bring our tailbone to the bottom of our foam roller and our head to the top. Make sure your full spine is supported on the roller. From here, find your neutral pelvis, so that's somewhere between arching and rounding. One hand can slide under the back, but not two hands. Make sure you have a neutral pelvis. Now remember, this is only level two, so if you're still building your abs and recruit, and you notice the front of the thighs and the groin area, your hip flexors recruiting, you can always tuck your pelvis under, flattening your low back into the roller, working in flexion to turn off those overactive hip flexors and quads. Our goal is to recruit our core. As the band around your thighs gets lighter, you're using less hamstrings and more lower pelvic floor. So the lighter the band, the more the core has to work. That's why the band is, going, is getting progressively lighter. Okay, from here, arms to cactus. Soften the sternum and breastbone in. Wrap the shoulder blades around the roller. Hold it here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one, maintain that neutral pelvis. Inhale two. Exhale two, inhale three, exhale three, bringing the arms down by your side, either the hands heavy by the hips or the elbows into the floor with the forearms facing up towards one another, palms facing in towards one another, shoulders plugged down, neutralize that pelvis or if you're noticing gripping in the thighs and hip flexors already, tuck the pelvis and work in flexion like a scared puppy, flattening the low back into the roller. Inhale, lengthen the pelvis to the wall in front of you as you float those legs up to t uh, up all the way to perpendicular. So creating a right angle with the legs and torso. 
Point the toes, legs hip distance apart if you have knee or back issues, together if you do not. From here, dominant leg or tighter leg lowers down. Inhale to prepare. Feel the pelvis pulling down towards the wall in front of you. Exhale, lower that leg. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift it up. Two, three, four. Stay on the same side. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift. Two, three. Three, four, keep with this tempo, lowering, two, three, four, and lifting, two, three, four, exhale, lower, two, three, four, inhale, lift, two, three, four, keep going, lower, two, three, four, and lift, two, three, four, one more, lower, two, three, Four, inhale, bel pelvis lengthens as you lift it up. At the top, externally rotate the legs, not from the knees or the ankles, but from the top of your hip socket. Subtle external rotation, don't go crazy. And from here, keep the legs hip distance apart if you have near back issues. Together, if not, toes are pointed. Same leg lowers down. Two, three, four, it lifts up. Two, three, four, exhale, lower. Two, three, four, inhale, lift. Two, three, four, two more. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Final one and lower. Two, three, four. And lift. Two, three, four. From here, bend both knees, exhaling both legs back to the floor, hip distance apart. Arms to cactus. Option to bring the thighs together to challenge your balance here. Soften the sternum and breastbone in. Keep the legs hip distance apart if you're wobbling too much. Press the arms overhead. Inhale, bending the elbows, coming back to your cactus goalpost position. Inhale, pressing the arms overhead, softening the sternum in, fighting to keep the shoulder blades wrapped around the roller, bending the elbows on your exhale. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows. Coming back to the hands by the hips or the elbows, by the side of the roller with the forearms up, palms facing in. Inhale, neutral pelvis or pelvic flexion if you're feeling your thighs or hip flexors working too much. Floating the legs up, perpendicular to the floor, toes pointed, hip distance apart if you have knee or back issues, together if not. Non-dominant or not as tight leg lowers down. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift it. Two, three, four. Lowering down. Two, three four and lifting almost sneeze there three four and exhale to lower inhale pelvis lengthens forward as you lift two three four are you feeling the quads and thighs do you need to tuck your pelvis under and flatten your low back into the roller you be the judge of this you know your body you can tell where you're working you'll feel the backs of the legs working you should feel the internal core muscles firing Let's externally rotate the legs now in the hip sockets. So turning out not from our knees or our ankles, but from the top of our hips. Still keeping the legs hip distance apart if you have near back issues. Together, if not, the heels will brush by one another. Same leg we were just working. Lowers down. Two, three, four, and lifts up. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift. Two, three, four. Two more. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Final one. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale both legs to the floor. Slowly making your way off the roller. Keep the purple band on. Grab that green loop band we were just using and bring it above your elbows. With it above your elbows, you're going to put your forearms onto the roller, coming into a forearm plank. Legs hip distance apart if you have any back or knee issues, together if not. Long as a board, pelvis is below the shoulders. Imagine my hands hovering from your shoulder blades. Puff your upper back into my hands. Firm your belly in towards your spine. Lift up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Push down and out into the arms, pushing down into the roller and out into the band if you're, as if you're trying to split it in half. Here we go. Exhale, tap the knees down. Two, three. Inhale, pelvis lengthens towards the heels as you lift them up. Two, three. Exhale, tap them down. Two, 
three, inhale, pick them up, two, three. Exhale, tap them down, two, three, inhale, pick them up, two, three, and exhale, tap them down, two, three, inhale, pick them up, two, three, one more, exhale, tap, two, three, inhale, lift, two, three, lower the knees, let's come back into that child's pose, we started in pushing the forehead into the band, two, three, exhale, let your inner thighs pull you back into the pose, inhale, forehead pushes into the band, inner thighs pull you back into the pose, and one more time, forehead pushes into the band, and making your way up to a comfortable seated position, taking that loop band off of your wrists and the band off of your thighs. Great job. 